In this video, I'll add the post effect glow on my images. It's important to do this after color correction, because color correction affects color and luminance. We want to make sure in the imagery that we have the values where we want them before putting on something that is dependent on the brightness. To put glow on, I'll click in the middle of the schematic and choose tools. On the tools menu, under effects, I'll pick glow and I'll drag it onto the connection line from CC Basics to Output. That way it introduces it in the middle and connects it there. We can see that the glow brightens up everything considerably. Here's how it works. If we look down in the glow parameters, right now it's keying off the alpha channel. What is transparent or not? If I fly out the alpha and pick by Luma, I can get a different result. Then what I'll do is take the threshold up, bringing up the Luma on the threshold gives me what looks like funny splotches in the imagery. Really, this defines where is the glow sitting and where is it not. Now what I'll do is take up the radius. I'll bring up the radius on the glow, blurring it out considerably so that the lights give me a little bit of a hot spot in some areas and a little glow and are very soft. I can also bring the gain on the glow down. Gain is the contribution of brightness of the glow on the imagery. Depending on the look you want, if it's supposed to be a very firm or very big glow versus a very soft glow, we can change the blending mode for that glow. As an example, glow set to add gives me very bright hot spots. These are suitable if I'm looking up at lights as an example. But in this scene it's a little too much, so I'll leave it at screen. That's really it for glow. If we want to adjust things in particular, like the colors of the gain or the colors in the threshold, we can use these wheels. But I'm going to leave it just based on a straight luma and blurred out nicely. As with any of the factors here in composite, we can animate this if needed. If it's too much glow as the camera travels, we can always scale this back by setting keys and animating it down. I'm ready for the next step, which is rendering. We're almost ready to take this image sequence out to our nonlinear editor and stitch together the movie. The look is getting very polished. 